I'll give it 30 seconds. Good morning, happy Friday to everyone joining us for another exciting and creative Women in Cricket webinar in partnership with Hobby X. My name is Melissa Bender. I'm the head of marketing for Messi Frankfurt, South Africa. On behalf of the Hobby X and Cricket team, we welcome you to the fourth installment of this inspirational Women's Month series. Can you believe it's already the fourth one? So let's see, we already have over 100 viewers with us and the number is going up quite quickly. So feel free in the meantime, let us know in the chat where you're joining us from. Is it rainy Cape Town, sunny Joburg, breezy Durban, or from anywhere over the borders? We want to know. Don't worry, all the latecomers, we'll give it just another minute or two. And then I'll hand over to our host, Martin Creer. Um, he's our official cricket host and our special guest and lady of the hour, Yawolna Nolter. Now, before I let the latest cricket expert take you on a creative journey, the team and I did some digging. Here's what we know. She's a crafting geek, the best kind. Her motto is simple. Don't sweat the small stuff when it comes to crafting. It must be quick, easy and fun. You're always passionate about all things craft, from photography to card making, scrapbooking, and so much more. A lady of many skills, of course. She loves keeping her head and hands busy. And according to your Wilner, the messier the better. A little paint and ink never hurt anyone. And combining it with amazing cutting power of the cricket brand, nothing stops your Wilner from having loads of fun, as we're about to find out in today's session. Her official quote is, creating can be a wonderful journey and therapy, making sense of things where life cannot. And I have turned my life into this philosophy. This is Yawolna's official quote that she lives by. Thank you, Yawolna, for joining us today. We have almost 150 viewers with us now. And we thank you to you who has joined us. I hope you enjoy the session. I'm gonna leave you in the capable hands of our host, Martin Creer. And I look forward to checking in with you at the end. Enjoy. Martin. Hello and welcome everybody. So my name is Martin and I head up the Middle East, Turkey, Africa and Russia region for cricket. I am again having so much fun today. I mean, just look at how many people are jumping on from all over, not just South Africa, but also all over the world. So firstly, I want to thank all of our members for joining today. You guys are the reason why we are doing this and, and your passion really inspires me to do a lot more of this. So thank you and welcome for being here today. It's been an interesting couple of weeks. Uh, I've had the privilege to host many inspirational ladies over the couple of past weeks in a series called Celebrating Women in Cricket in partnership with Hobby X. This webinar series has been amazing. I've been inspired along the way. I've had fun and had so many different conversations and I hope you guys had the same as well. Today, again, I'm, I, I hope this never ends because I'm having so much fun. Today, we've got another special guest coming on board today. I think today's guest is actually, I haven't known her that long. I've only known her for probably about eight months, but it feels like I've known her for so many years. She is probably the hardest working person that I've seen. She's super passionate and her patience. I cannot, I just cannot understand how she is so patient. She is not only our lead ambassador for the METAR region, she manages about 250 ambassadors as well, but she is probably the most creative person. And I don't think she needs an introduction in this industry because she's already well known. So welcome, you all know. Thank you so much, Martin. Um, always nerve-wracking behind, behind the camera. Um, but yeah, I hope we can inspire everybody today, just showing you what we're going to do with cricket. I think before we really get into formalities, I do want to just give you some flowers. You will not to say thank you for everything you've done, that you are doing for crickets. And for all the women out there, you are inspiring, not just to me, but I hope you inspire a lot of people out there and continue to do that. So thank, thank you very much. Thank you so much. Um, and it's my favorite, roses. And it's pink, girls. It's pink. <laughs> thank you so much. Pleasure. You can you pop that back right on. back there. Thank you so much. 
Yeah, so we hope we're going to inspire you today. We're just going to chat about cricket, um, how it can fit into your life, and we're just going to have lo have loads of fun. Uh, we definitely <laughs> are. You all know what are we going to be doing here today? So I'm going to show everybody how I incorporate both my cricket maker and my cricket joy in my art journaling. So for me, um, if I'm going to invest in a machine, or for that matter, in inks or paints or whatever, um, I want it to be value. I want to take it a bit further than what you would normally do. So I'm hoping to show people that although the machines are intimidating, it looks more intimidating than what it really is. So if you've got a machine and you're not using it, it's your own fault. So um, if you have this little baby, the big brother, no matter what machine you have, you can use it in your everyday creative life, whether you're labeling um, spice jars in the kitchen or doing art journaling. Your cricket has a place everywhere. I like that, and I agree. I mean, if I can use it, I'm sure anybody can really use this machine. Absolutely. Before we jump in, I want to, again, as we've done over all of the calls we've had before, I want the audience to feel involved. Speak to us, let us know how you're feeling about anything that we're saying during the time. We will have a Q&A at the end of the call. So if you have any questions, keep it for, for the end. We'll try and answer as many as we can. To, to kickstart your interaction, let us know what you guys have been doing this week. What have you been crafting? What projects are you working on while you will not get going to, to start her project for today? Okay, awesome. So I'm going to start off by cutting some vinyl with the Cricut Joy. So first of all, I was really intimidated. I'm just going to grab my phone and open design space. It's very intimidating when you actually need to do something with Bluetooth, like Really? It doesn't work. Give me a cable and a computer, a laptop, and I'm good to go. But with my phone, different story. So in actual fact, it was so easy. Then add some smart vinyl. Oh, my word, life changes after that. And I'm not quite sure if I can go back to normal vinyl with a cutting mat. So, so that's my thing. It's like I'm absolutely obsessed with the smart vinyl. Um, what is smart vinyl? Why? Smart vinyl. Oh. Okay, so it takes this little guy out of the equation. It means that I can take this piece of smart vinyl and I can cut directly without actually adhering it onto a mat, wow. which makes a lot of sense when you come to think about it. Um, it's so easy. The other great thing about smart vinyl is that it's a lot thicker than your normal vinyl. The, the actual backing is thick. Okay. Um, the vinyl is a bit thicker and you can peel it off like a sticker. Okay. So it takes the equation of transfer tape out of the way. Um, so I think it's a very convenient product. It's really smart. Um, it cuts amazing. And I think it just opens a lot more doors than actually having to remember to have a mat. Okay. Because normally when you take this guy in its cute little bag and you're off on holiday or going away for a weekend, you can actually sneak this into the back of the car without your husband knowing. <laughs> so you can be creative on holiday. Um, but the smart vinyl, you don't have to actually remember to take a mat. So that's always a thing that we forget. It does save a lot of space, right? And you yeah. can literally travel with it. Absolutely. I don't know if you guys seen one of our other influencers, Minion de Priya, cricket lady. She took the actual cricket joy with her when she was on tour recently. And they had to do quarantine in, in Croatia. And she did so many crafts with a little cricket joy while she was there. It's amazing. So it's really durable. Yeah. You will know before we get carried away, and you're not going to get away with this today. <laughs> I have been working with all of the ladies over the past couple of weeks. We want to get to know the real you a bit as well. So can sure. you tell me a bit more about you all know? I know a lot of people have followed you. <laughs> you are famous in the industry, but tell us who are you? Where have you come from? Where are you sure. today? And where do you hope to go to in the future? Um, I am kind of that girl that's happy with messy tools. I hardly ever clean my tools. So sorry to all those OCD people. Um, I love messy hands, inks, paints. Um, it's my passion. And then fast forward 14 years ago, when I got my first cricket machine, cartridges, really complicated. I've always loved the brand. Um, and for me, it was the little green cricket, I guess. And now it's a cutie. Um, it's just amazing products. So I think Creativity has always been a part of my life. Um, yeah, and I live, I live for creativity. There are days when you actually can't be creative, in which case, if I just put 
paint on a piece of paper and I cut something, I'm happy. I don't have to create something. So just the mere fact that I can cut something on a machine and it's like, oh, look, it's a feather. It can lie on my desk for six months, but I did something. So I think that's, that's where most people go wrong. And I've tried to tune my life into that. It's okay. It's okay if I have a bad day and I haven't done anything. So yeah, that's me. Where am I going? Sure. Um, forward. <laughs> that's about it. Yeah, so I'm very excited for the future. Um, yeah, very private person, actually. Uh, but yeah. if, you, if you know me, you know that I love creativity. I love inks and paints, making a mess. And it doesn't have to be perfect. So everything you create, if you like it and you're passionate about it and you've enjoyed the process, then that makes sense. Um, so it's not about me saying it's beautiful or it's not. You know, we all have the, um, different tastes. So the fact that we are all creative, and I really do believe that we are all creative, it's just whether you practice your creativity. So for me, even if I can't create something, um, when life gets too much, I just play. And it really is play. Whether it's just putting ink on paper or cutting 400 little love words with vinyl and sticking them into a plastic pouch for future use, I've done something that doesn't require too much brain power. It doesn't require emotion, but yet it actually brings out so much emotion. It fills your, your life, really. So, yeah. so it kind of brings you to a, a sense of, you know, accomplishment when you do something with the cricket machines and Abs creativity? Absolutely. So I think I've had so much fun. I mean, I love art journaling. And art journaling literally saved me during lockdown. It was kind of like, I'm going to take my journal, I'm going to fill it. Okay doesn't matter what I do, doesn't matter if it's light or dark, doesn't matter what I use, um, as long as I do something. I didn't quite fall the journal, but I got close. And then the next step was like, oh, got the joy. How can I actually use the joy in my art journaling? So I'm going to show you guys a whole bunch of different ways how I actually bring the cricket into my crafting. And that to me is important. If you're gonna invest in tools and machines, Use it. If you don't use it, like I said before, it's your own fault. Because they are magical. They are amazing. And they actually tell you what to do. So even if you hesitate and you think, oh, I'll never be able to use this machine, you will be able to because it's that easy. The machine is so smart, it actually tells you what to do. And that's what I love about cricket is anybody from five-year-old to 95 can use a cricket. I agree. And okay. I think you, you, you touched on a couple of things there that I, I kind of wanted to extract is you said that cricket saved you and your art journaling saved you during lockdown. I think a lot of our members, and that's an important message that you state there, right? Mm -hmm. Cricket, a lot of our members globally come to us and say, it has helped me during lockdown yeah. for my mental well-being yeah. or from a financial perspective. They were able to start little businesses. Absolutely. Those are really, really cool things. Mm -hmm. I think in terms of art journaling, I don't know. Well, what is art journaling? Can you maybe just so, maybe tell me what that is? Art journaling, I'm just going to start this baby up. Look how smart that vinyl is. And let's just actually move that away. So it's cutting now, right? So it's going to cut now. And really, guys, it's so easy. Um, seriously, I've opened Design Space on my phone. Pick the flower, load it the material, and I'm going to say go. And that it's easy. going to cut. It's really that easy. Okay. Talking about easy and tools, we know that every crafter has their own favorite tools. Something that your audience really loves out there. So what are your favorite tools? So I think in terms of tools, you've got to have amazing scissors to cut with. New favorite scissors, really sharp. They're really soft on the touch. Um, not as soft, but comfortable, I guess. So cricket scissors are amazing. I think scissors are my one, number one. A good trimmer, which I do have a cricket tr trimmer. Okay. Um, amazing trimmers. So if you can cut, then you're one step closer to creativity. Um, and I always say you don't always have to have fancy paper. There's newspaper, there's baby wax, there's roller towel. There's old magazines. 
So it doesn't matter what you have at your disposal. If you can cut something, you're creative. So I can take an old magazine and I can cut something out and I can paint it, collage it, whatever. Um, yeah, old pieces of cardstock. Doesn't have to be fancy cricket cardstock, although it's an amazing cardstock, but you can buy a different cardstock. So the machines enable you to be creative no matter what. Um, so scissors, good adhesive. Um, yeah, but I'm not really a gadget girl. <laughs> Although I'm a machine girl, not a gadget girl. But tools, if you can cut and you can glue something down, you're good to go. It's quite yeah. funny to see you, you know, touch these tools and you actually get excited about that. I do. Which is, yeah. which is quite strange for, for people that's probably yeah. not in the industry. Yeah. But I love that. Does any of your tools have names? Uh, We've seen some of our craft no. actually named their tools. <laughs> no, I'm just like, they're just amazing. So I don't know. I, I like touching my tools. I, I, you know, it's tangible. So when people say, oh, digital scrapbooking and, you know, online and this and that, I'm like, no, I want to touch this. I want to see the machine cut. I want to feel the paint and the dirt and I want to cut. Okay. And a lot of ladies complain about cutting. I find it therapeutic. Um, you know, I don't have to think about it. I just sit and I cut. So the same with the machines. It just... Yeah, it's different doing it in person. Computers are great, has a place, but I want to touch the stuff. I want to get dirty, um, yeah, and do. It's the action that heals. So in terms of that, you know, um, yeah, it's the fact that I can touch the vinyl. Just quickly going to log in here. Sorry, I think everybody's seen my phone pass, so I'm going to have to change that. Okay, <laughs> so there we go. Okay, so let's finish cutting now. There right? we go. So that's your smart vinyl. Okay, let me show you the magical thing. So while you're doing that, I want to get to the audience. We spoke about tools. Audience, what is your favorite tool? And is any of the maybe have some interesting names for your tools? We've literally seen people name their tools. Yeah, it's weird. Hey, it's funny. And some of the names are very yeah, funny that yeah. they come up with. It. And it's amazing. Like that's how everybody is different. Okay, so that's how easy it is to actually read small vinyl. What is that okay. process that you just did? So it's weeding with a W, E, E, D. So you weed actually all the excess stuff away that you actually don't want on your design. So a weeding tool. Um, Do you like doing it? I, some of our members I, find it oh. therapeutic and some find it an uh, absolute nightmare. I what love your it. version of it? I absolutely love weeding. So I used to weed... Um, and I'm embarrassed to say I had a type of piercer that I weeded with. And then my friend, Kylie, <laughs> she gave me a tool, a weeding tool. And I'm like, oh, my word. Okay, changed life. Okay. Guys, it was before I actually had a cricket tool set. Okay. And I don't have everything. So I think that's also one of the things people think you have to have everything. I don't. I really don't have everything. Um, Talking about tool sets, I just have to jump in there. And talking about having everything, I just read a very funny comment there. Yeah. Hanika has probably got the best tool. And she said her favorite tool for crafting is her credit card. Oh. <laughs> yes. I, I don't have one of those. <laughs> it doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, that's that's amazing. That is the favorite tool to, to use. Um, but the weeding tool. So I'm very much, I'm not a gadget girl, like I said before. But I do believe if you have the right tool for the right job, life is easy life is amazing okay I agree. so smart vinyl seriously guys it is so so amazing so all you do is take away all the extra bits and pieces and people have fancy tools i just like roll the ex excess in my hand and just take off all those little bits and pieces you look okay. like a pro doing that oh if i have my glasses on okay <laughs> so that's a necessity because <laughs> sometimes you actually can't see what you're doing and then you're like oh i weeded the wrong thing and you know what that's okay too because nothing's wasted no. um i'm going to show you guys what i did with all the extra bits and pieces so it really is that easy to get back mm -hmm. to what is modeling okay yes so this is actually the the page that i prepped using my my cricket. So anything from my maker to my joy. And on this page, I cut vinyl. I layered a second color vinyl. I made a stencil. I made my own stamps. Plus I created a background. 
You made that all of your cricket? All of it. Wow. It's amazing. Hey, okay. So eye channeling really is a lot of different things and it's very personal to everybody. Um, it can be very pretty and meaningful. It can be slapping paint and ink onto paper. Um, it can be a whole bunch of writing about how you're feeling. So it's just a creative way of letting your feelings out, I guess. Okay. So whether it's just a favorite quote or a funny saying or a sticker or nothing, just pretty pictures or just the background, it's very personal. Okay. Wow. But it is, it's one of those things that the process is really nice. Okay. So how are we doing for time? Awesome. I think we're doing great, Talking but I need to obviously pull it back again. I see you're trying to slip away from all these questions, but yes. <laughs> so let me kind of understand from you, if you had to do something differently in this industry or career, if you had a chance to start over, would you change what you've done or would you do something uh, differently? Or what, sure. do you, what advice would you have for somebody that's starting out today? I would actually... That looks super messy. Uh, very messy. It's my food, this. It's amazing. Okay, so I'm just going to play while we're chatting. Um, I'm literally going to add some paint onto a jelly plate. And this is how easy it is to create a background just with some paint. So that's now your background for your art. That's right? my background for art journey. Okay. okay. Took all of two seconds to do. I think it's I can maybe do that. You definitely can. What was the question again? You see. What can I do differently? <laughs> what would you do differently? And, guess, and what advice yeah. would you have for somebody starting out today? Stop buying unnecessary stuff. And I don't want to say the C word, but stop buying the crap. Like in creativity and crafts, people are very much under pressure and you know, if Susan has this tool, I need to have that tool. That's nonsense. Like, do you. Um, you need to do what you do and buy what you love. If you love the joy and not the maker, get the joy. Who cares? You don't need the big machine. If you love the maker more than you love the joy, it's okay. So get what works for you. Um, yeah, you know, we buy under pressure. So we end up buying stuff that we don't use. And then we blame cricket for making me buy the maker that I never opened the box. It's your own fault. True. Okay. It took me weeks before I opened my maker because it was like, it's just rose gold and it's beautiful. And, and like, how do I work it? So um, I think stop listening to outside voices. Um, and that's what I would have done. It's like, I have mass amounts of flowers. I love flowers in the garden. <laughs> not on my projects. Mm -hmm. So it's, you know, it's pressure. Um, just do you. Mm -hmm. um, if, if you like something, use it. If you don't like something, don't use it. It's as simple as that. You kind of touched on something then, and we kind of see this from members, like how do I use this machine or where do I get inspiration? You know, is there a, a centralized source for our members to go to? Let's look at South Africa as an example that they can get training, advice, inspiration. What would you recommend for new members coming on board today that haven't used the machine ever before? So obviously our Facebook group is first stop. I mean, it's just an amazing inspirational place. I look at some of the, the projects on there and I'm like, oh, I shouldn't feel this way, but I'm intimidated. <laughs> Ladies are, cr are so creative. So the Facebook group, number one, um, design space and access is like, Really, guys, um, I can't even say that I've cut 40 of the, how many hundreds or thousands <laughs> of, of things on, on design space. Um, so there is the first place I will stop is the Facebook groups um, and then hop onto design space and do a search. And if you don't have access yet, it's so worth it. It is about, um, what, 10 cups of coffee a month that you'll actually have to save and not buy to have over 150,000 designs that can inspire and ready to go and just create. So there was my blue background. And here is where I took my vinyl cut feather and I did another step. So you finally used that vinyl you cut six months ago. There we go. You see how my brain works. And I'm listening to what you're saying. Absolutely, yeah. So that's number one, how I actually start building a background. 
using my vinyl bits. The great thing is that I'm not going to throw this away. It's now kind of lost its sticky, mm. but it's okay. Okay. Because I'm still going to use it. So for me, it's like crafters become hoarders because we keep everything. <laughs> okay. There is a point where you actually start chucking stuff. Um, but up until that point, you can keep stuff that you know you are going to use. Is there any nice comments that's coming from the Facebook groups as well? Uh, Rochelle saying, love getting inspiration from the Facebook groups, not comparisons, but inspiration. Awesome. Uh, I agree. I love the Facebook groups. And I just got a no. big shout out to our admins on, on all of the groups. We have Facebook groups in South Africa, uh, Middle East, as well as Israel. They're all doing an amazing job. And our ambassadors have also been super involved um, doing a training online. We've got Stunning. training in English and Arabic and soon to add Hebrew. So yes. we've got lots of inspiration there. I think then you will know which people have had the most influence in your life. Sure. <laughs> and why? Uh, I think real people without any airs. I've had amazing people across all platforms. I mean, I've worked in retail and wholesale and imports and publishing and you know, done some amazing things. So in every sort of sector and season of my life, there's been amazing people. Cry, no, I'm not. Um, but people, yeah, people are amazing. So yeah, no specific people. There's lots that know that they've inspired and helped. Done, done. Oh, okay no, no. look at us i do get emotional guys everybody does i'm passionate yeah if i'm allowed yeah. to say this you've inspired yes. me over the past <laughs> awesome really. awesome okay so okay that, that, that's, that's it shake up. lots I didn't, of amazing I didn't people expect that result, so. <laughs> i do i'm a, I'm a cry baby i'm sorry i get very emotional <laughs> nothing wrong with emotions yeah. it's what makes us human absolutely i want to okay. go back to the audience and then maybe ask them about i asked you you know what did cricket do for you in lockdown i want to hear from our audience you know or yeah. not just cricket creativity or crafting you know how did that help you during lockdown times so? Which we're still in, in some countries, by the way. Yeah, it's true. Hey, it's going to wipe my makeup. Makeup still Sorry. looks perfect. Sorry, awesome. Don't worry. <laughs> that's that's okay. the spirit. I'll, I'll, okay. I'll try and ask more easier okay. questions. Oh, thank from goodness. Oh, I'm in so much pressure. Okay, so here's one of those gorgeous flowers. This flower is on Design Space, guys. It's found under home decor. It's a flower that was actually transferred onto a pillow okay it's gorgeous it's like that's my kind of it's messy it's imperfect like life and us you know we are imperfect um and yet look how gorgeous and perfect it is okay it does look really so nice. the trick while we're doing um transfer tape okay transfer tape and this is just normal vinyl that i use by the way the premium vinyl so i always thought cricket um, transfer tape was tricky to use until I spent a bit of time using it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Secret is using your scraper and burnish. So burnish is just the fancy tool of like flatten it, smooth it out on the back as well as the front. Okay. So there's your trick. Then when you start peeling your transfer tape, Martin, sometimes there are bits and pieces that still stick to the backing and that's okay. So all you do is you take your finger and you just flatten it out. You can also use your weeding tool. And eventually, if it just lets go on that one spot, it will peel. It's as simple as that. Okay. So it really is amazing tape. Um, do I keep all of these pieces? I did. And then I tried various techniques on them. And then I start chucking them. Okay, it's like, I'm the girl who tries everything. It's like, can alcohol ink work on it? Can I die cut it? It's like, okay, it's not what I thought, had in mind, moving right along. Okay, so there's my design stuck onto my transfer tape. I'm going to pop it wherever I want. It's art journaling. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just needs to be fun. Okay. Okay, I'm going to use my scraper again, burnish. That goes on top of that. Now. Goes on top of there. And then start peeling it. Just reading at some of our comments again. Uh, I kind of love this. 
one of them or a couple of the members actually saying same yeah but they wish they had cricket in lockdown now. oh yeah that, I'm, i must agree i i feel for people who actually didn't so we kind of had a suspicion lockdown was coming um yeah and i made sure i had lots of paper cardstock adhesive i had extra cutting mats i had i prepped like an end time prepper <laughs> i just prepped for crafting so I mean, I did run out of certain things. Like, okay. And then you make do. You like make a plan. You know, it's what we do. We are creative people. So, yeah, but it's, it's all about fun. It's all about the same. So there's my flower, my vinyl flower on, very, on my art journaling nice. page. So that's just one of the things, how simple that is. Do we have time? Yes, we, we have more than enough time. And I've got more time awesome. to ask you more intricate questions. Oh. So. What would you say is your number one or what is the number one key success to, to crafting? Sure. That's a hard question. Um, it gets harder as we go. Oh, okay. I wasn't prepped for that. <laughs> um, I don't know. I really don't know. Um, I, I'm going to get back to, to that, but you do you. Okay. It's creativity is personal. It's not forced. It's, um, and I think I've learned early on, you know, especially in scrapbooking and cutting stuff and the way I do stuff. Um, I can always give you a reason why I use something, why I do something in a certain way. Um, but for me, I learned that I'm a blank canvas kind of girl. Like I work on white. Mm -hmm. It's so many possibilities, guys, because you can take a piece of white. And this is typing paper, guys. Nothing fancy. It's typing paper. And I can be creative. So um, a lot of people like the white canvas blank space thing. Others don't. They like color. They want colored backgrounds. And I learned early on that don't listen to the outside voices. And we do. We fall for it each and every time. We mm we listen and then we try something and then I'm like, it's not me, nothing's working. So, so go back to your roots, do what's you um, and be true, be true to your creativity and yourself. So I think that's, that's the main thing for me. I love that. I think of authenticity and, and yeah. uniqueness yeah. Is, is kind of what everybody should aspire to. Absolutely. It kind of goes back to a question that a lot of members ask us, especially when they want to start businesses is what should I do? And I guess the most simplified advice that I've seen, not from me, from other successful individuals in this, in this industry is find your niche, find yeah. one thing that you yeah. do that or that you really, really like and, and really focus on that. Yeah. And then from there on scale, right? Absolutely. And passion speaks a lot. You know, do what your passion is. Like, I, I'll be honest, the cricket, there's so much possibility with cutting 3D things and building paper things. And I'm like, I, it's not me. Like, give me dirt. I'm good with that. The inks, the paints, the cutting, the layering. But don't ask me to build a 3D the fox, the gorgeous fox on design space. It's not me. I'm like, my brain doesn't work that way. And I think that's important. It's like there's a place, there's something creative for everybody. Um, somebody likes knitting and sewing and this and that. Somebody likes clean paper crafting. Um, I like the mess. I agree. Yeah. I mean, if so, I just had to, I'm not a, a professional crafter or anything like that, but I like doing the 3D things if I have time or, or maybe just printing some shirts. Yeah, there we go. Which is really, really yeah. cool. Okay. And, Final is so easy, hey. It's super, well, sometimes. Uh, <laughs> what is your biggest success story? Have you got a success story that really stands out in your life? Or, or do you think oh, it's still sure. to be written? <laughs> I, I think we're still writing that, um, to be honest. I've, I've done some amazing things. I always said um, when I get to 30, I'm way over. <laughs> when I get to 30 and I'm still nothing, and I'll start to worry. I'm, I'm like at a weird life. Um, and I got to 30 and I was a magazine editor. So, and then I wrote books and I'm like, oh, tick that off. Now what? So every time I tick something off, I'm like, oh yeah, I made a list of that years ago. So there's always a new list. There's always something new. Um, 
so I think there's lots. I, I haven't written that that story yet. It's it's chapter by chapter. So I we're like just having show. fun. We are. Well, we're yeah. not just having fun. I think mm. you, know, you have been a very successful person in your life. I think this chapter that you're in right now, or, or the one that I am glad to be paying a part of, is is you're on a journey with cricket where we're yeah. inspiring people to to be more creative. Absolutely. And, and you're working with people in different countries and different yeah. languages. I think that must be exciting for you, or, or is that what you've done before? It's. Uh, I touched on it a bit, but seriously. I think this is the most exciting because I actually really get to live um, all of it. Hold on, hold on. I need to concentrate. You see, go for it. Um, this machine is so, guys. The cricket is really amazing. So, um, it tells you how silly you can be. So I'm just going to cancel the cut. And by the way, we've got a video streaming from the top, so you will be able to see what I am doing. Um, I just need to change my tool here. So the great thing, I'm going to cut a stencil for my art journaling. Um, and it's so amazing that you can change blades and tools in your maker um, so that you can cut over 300 different materials. And it's intimidating, even for me. So um, I like playing with it. And the machine is, is robust. Okay, you have to do something really silly and stupid to actually break the, the maker. I mean, I'm not talking about the plastic. Yes, you can um, break plastic bits on the machine. Um, but really, the machine is sturdy. It, it works hard. It's great. Um, yeah. You will know I'm not going to, I don't want to make you cry or anything, oh. but there's so much love coming through <laughs> oh, on, on the gosh. chat for you. Oh. And just one of them that I can read out from, it's lasagna. You will know, hashtag Wonder Woman. Um, <laughs> oh, so shit. inspiring. Oh. Creativity unfolds. Uh, there's so many different amazing messages coming through for oh, you. Awesome. So like I said, you are truly inspiring and we we had to. We're happy to have you on this journey, right? Thank you. I think then maybe I want to go back to, to the audience and, and I want to ask the audience, what do you think is the number one? What is your what do you think is the number one thing to key to success in, in crafting or, or in this industry as creativity? Okay, you will know back to you. Kind of, yeah, there's so many nice messages coming through. I can actually just spend time and, and reach all of that. That's we do yeah. have a bit of time left. I think yes, we, so. we have five more minutes to, to kind of continue this and then we need to jump into a QA. and a Perfect. And then we're going to get to the exciting bit where we're going to give away a prize. Oh, I know. That's like the best time of the day. Um, so just to show you guys, I cut the stencil. It was like one of my first stencils that I cut. I'm like, oh my word, it's so exciting. Um, it really is. Um, it's an amazing machine. So I'm cutting another stencil um, and it's bits and pieces that actually one of our ambassadors gave me a piece of mylar. Thanks, Gabby. I didn't have mylar. Supplies are out of stock. So, yes, you can cut stencils. And again, doesn't have to be the fancy stuff. If you go, I'm not going to name names, you can go to PA and buy plastic covers woo, and acetates. <laughs> um, you can cut your own stencils and they last. You know, clean your stencils. Don't be like, me and not clean them um but this machine truly truly is amazing so the other thing that i also want to show people and we've had a lot of questions regarding this is craft foam i mean how cute i'm going to show you this little whale yeah having a whale of a time <laughs> okay so this is all craft foam it's about 2.4 millimeters thick okay. um and the the maker cuts it perfectly. Look at that guy. I mean, look at how cute it is. <laughs> okay. So what I do, I'm obsessed with circles. Okay. So normally what you do is you cut like millions of circles out of the craft foam. And then you take glue and you stick them onto a block. Okay. Okay. And then like this side, you take a bit of paint and you ink it and you stamp. Oh, okay. So I just created my own foam stamps using my maker. Very cool. Okay. Um, can I do it on the Joy? Haven't tried it yet with the craft foam. It's a bit thick, but it should cut it fine. Um, you do get thinner craft foam. 
but that's kind of like all the things that you can do with your art journal. So just to get back to my page, this is where I actually stand, that guy. Oh. And then the white circles as well. Okay. Okay. So everything in my creative journey is like, oh, I think there's that saying, it's like, oh, hold on, I can make that. You know, whenever you walk into a shop and people's like, oh, look how beautiful. It's like, oh, wait, I have a maker, I can make it. You know, so that's kind of the thing and the attitude that people need to take on. It's like, can I buy it? Credit card, that's the easy way. Can I make it? Absolutely, loads more fun. Loads more fun to actually make something yourself. I think that is what cricket really offers. You, you touched on, you know, can I make it? You know, a lot of us, you know, you want something, you want to buy a customized shirt or, or you want to make something and, and you go spend a lot of money yeah. you know, from at a company to actually yeah. do it. While you could actually do this in your home Absolutely. with a cricket machine. You can literally do it with the whole family. Yeah. I just need to say our members are amazing. Uh, you know, they are just coming are. in with so many cool things. And, and I asked everybody just now, you know, what is your number one key to success in crafting as an example? Um, but something stood out here for me, Kim, you know, we spoke about um, authenticity and it doesn't matter what it looks like. I don't yeah. care about the person next to you. And this is an old saying that I've heard before. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Absolutely. And I think that is that really yeah. speaks volume to, to what you yeah. also mentioned on yeah. earlier on. How are we doing for time? I think we still got a bit more time yeah. before we go into the Q&A and then the competition. Right. So you will now let me see which difficult question I can pull out today. What does a typical day look like in Yuwilna's life? Oh, hold on. I prepped that one. <laughs> <laughs> I prepped that question. Hold on. I need a... You're going to visually show it to me? I am. I'm a visual person and I feel stuff. Like... Are you going to throw paint okay. at me or... I'm not. Okay, please don't. Okay. I'm not a so messy person. 10 a.m. is, if you're lucky, I'm dressed showered. Okay. The rest of the day is like... Like that. <laughs> so so that's me it's like you have good days you have bad days some days i'm showered and dressed by 5 a.m um some days it happens at 10 um it normally starts with emails checking replying blah 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 and then i crave creativity so i need to cut something throw ink on paper just do something so yeah okay. there's there's lots of that. So it's never the same. It's never the I, same. I guess the part we actually punched the hole into <laughs> yeah. is when you've spoken to me that day, right? No, no, it's not. <laughs> it's she, the she's good being smooth, kind. <laughs> smooth lines, y'all. But guys, this is this is how amazing it is. Like I I almost feel embarrassed that I've ever bought a stencil again. Like, like if you like you can do this. Okay, actually the machine can do this, but you can also do this. So just for my understanding on stencils, and I'm sorry if I interrupt you. No, I've seen it. a lot of our members create like, you know, these welcome mats that, yeah, that people yeah, walk yeah. on and there's so many different things on it. Can you do welcome mats with cricket and stencils and oh, things like that? Absolutely. So I think, I guess the big thing is we're all waiting for um, one of these in the background, the Maker 3. They explore coming three soon. coming soon your way um, with the feeder tray and the smart vinyl. So I can cut a, a welcome sign for, I don't know, your birthday, your next birthday. It says happy birthday, Martin. And it can span the entirety of the room. Wow. So it's going to be a game changer in terms of that. You can cut long pieces of vinyl, um, but absolutely. So what you do get with the, the cricket machines, the explore and the maker, you get a 24 inch mat okay so you're 12 inches by 24 inches so you can actually measure your doormat you can cut a big vinyl stencil um actually pop it on there and then use your paint don't be like me and spray paint because it does go everywhere but i'm okay with that because it's my mat okay so if i do have overspray it is it the end of the world actually not it's okay I'm gonna wipe my feet on it and move along okay so very easy you can do anything for your house with the maker the joy the possibility is just endless we'll need a whole day for you we'll not absolutely because i can like i haven't touched on half the stuff i wanted to say talking about that 
where are we with the art journal? Is it done? Are we? It's not. Okay, so here's what we can do. Next step is where we're we going to take our beautiful stencil. You literally okay. literally have a minute. Eh? Oh, okay. I'm, awesome. I'm joking. Oh, it's not, no. <laughs> okay, paint, paint, paint. That's the biggest like decision. What paint am I using? Okay. So great. Um, the little piece that I peeled the vinyl off. Okay. Okay. Makes an awesome palette. Okay. Use it as a palette and then chuck it. Okay. So art journaling stencil that I've just cut. I'm just going to use this tool, pick up a bit of white paint, dabbing off the excess because I don't want it to bleed under my stencil. Okay. And then I'm just going to like circular movements. By the way, we, we will have a recording from a top view camera Absolutely. For, for all of our members to, and we'll to see. We'll have what's like a nice little done. play session at home. And, and I would love to see, I think we'd all love to see on the Facebook group, post your, your pages on the Facebook group, whatever Please. you create, share it with us. We've seen amazing things. Yeah. And, and that's why we call it the inspiration page is we love seeing our members share their inspirational crafts, Absolutely. even if it's your first one. Please share it. Yeah. Nobody's professional. We're all doing this for fun. We're all doing this for a reason. So please keep sharing. Yeah. I think you will know we need to kind of jump into the Q and A. One more thing. One okay. more thing. So okay. I stenciled little triangles. Okay. Love it, guys. I cut a stencil. Okay. So here's my original feather that I used on my background. Okay. A real feather. No, oh. a vinyl one. Okay. Blue vinyl. Okay. Blue vinyl. Okay. Blue stick. Sorry. Glue stick. Cricket doesn't have glue sticks. Okay, they need to work on that. Yet. Okay, yet. There we go. If I have a say. Okay, I'm going to use my little palette. I'm going to pop my feather on there. I'm going to pop glue stick on the back because my vinyl has lost its sticky. Okay, and this is my typical day. Okay, I'm going to pop it on there. And then I just use my feather, vinyl feather, on my art journal page. Nobody will know. Blends in so nicely. Exactly. I think and then, I've got a question before yes. you continue that. Sir. And I'm sure a lot of some members probably would feel the same is how do you wash your hands? What do you, oh, you know, like there's so much like happening clothes. there. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm one of those people, like, I'm sorry, I didn't have a new shirt. It's full the of mom white was paint. Always upset with you going I, I know. Like I was a child, I still walk, walk on my socks and clothes are full of no, paint and same. ink and glue and. And it's okay. This is my life. It's okay. okay. You're a blank canvas. Yeah. I am, yeah. But see how amazing that is? Is that I'm I'm using my feather as a mask or a stencil to pull prints. So each time I do it, I'm covering the top with paint. But in the end, instead of taking this and chucking it, okay, here's another one. It becomes a feature. It becomes an art piece. I can take this feather and I can glue it onto that background and I can cut a vinyl word that says love and I can pop it in a frame and it's art and I made it with my quick sure. and I had fun. So you had fun today and, and maybe it's a personal question but does that mean anything to you now does that um, is, is there some feeling towards it do you name it do you i i is it just an accomplishment <laughs> yeah it's just it's about fun i might go home and it's like oh i really hate it it's okay so what i'll do is i'll cut another daisy and i'll add some color in there maybe i'll go with the blue and green thing green theme i'll pop some color in there and i'm far from done because i'll actually take um my graphite pencil and I'll add some shading and details. I'll add more stamping. I'll add a quote. I might add some more stamp details. So you've asked the members to post their things. Yes. We'll be waiting for your final project. Absolutely. And I will because it's, and if this is all I did for today, it's okay because I had fun and I'm like, how can I incorporate my cricket into what I do and really love and am passionate about? That's the main passion thing. is clear and you had fun i had fun awesome. i think now let's jump we've got a couple of minutes left to speak to our audience so there's a q a section so if we can ask the audience to jump from the chat box to the actual q a box go add your questions in there we're going to try and answer as many as we can cool. we will obviously a bit of time limited yeah. um, because we do still want to give away a prize today so let's jump into the box here you will know you can 
Come and help me if you want to. Okay. Um, yeah. Um, would I be able to cut leather with the joy? Um, it's a tough question. Yes and no. Okay. So like I said, I'm the person that tests the boundaries. I'm going to put that machine through its paces. And it's like, even if it tells me I can't cut this, I'm still going to try. Okay. So it depends on a lot of factors. What leather? How thick is your leather? Okay. Um, you get pleather, which is the fake leather, obviously, that we're mostly going to cut. And if it's thin enough, your joy will actually cut it. Okay. okay. Cool. But again, I'm quite happy. We test a lot of products. Like I say, I, I take the vinyl, the mylar. I test my joy. I, I want to see what it can do. Right. And if it breaks, I'll just ask you for a new one. Okay. <laughs> but we, we do test it. And again, it's obviously go on recommended, what is recommended. And it will pop up what you can cut with it. And they are specs for all the machines. Um, but like I say, you can pop me a I think message. again, we see that happening on the Facebook groups yeah. a lot. If you're not sure about something, Ask. just jump on the group yeah. and, and post a message saying, hey guys, can, can the cricket cut yeah. this? The members would have tested it. I'm sure they have. Absolutely. It's but, like somebody asked about the thicker foam. And I'm like, oh, okay. So this is the thickest I've got. It's just under four mils. And I cut it and it's perfectly fine. Okay. Um, but then human nature kicked in and I'm like, oh, I forgot to move the little rollers. So I have all these rolling lines over my phone. It's okay. I'm just making a stamp. Right. So it depends on what you want to do. Okay. But if in doubt, ask the question, we'll test it for you. Okay, so I'm going to the next one. I'll, I'll quickly answer this one. Can a normal iron work when you're doing iron on? It, it can, it does. Um, just on top of that, a lot of people are asking when is crickets heat pressures coming to South Africa? We, we should be launching it next quarter. Um, there's a, it's not a challenge, but we had to create a whole new SKU for South Africa because of the different plug and power voltage settings. And what is a SKU, Mart? It's, an, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a product. So like Cricket now has seven different heat presses of the same thing. So if you ship one from America today, the chances that it's going to plug it into, into our South African system is going to blow up. So be very careful of that when you buy something. Make sure that wait till it's in South Africa because we need to get it authorized through local authorities, the right certification. But also when you buy from authorized reseller, you know that it's covered in yeah. terms of warranty. The product is going to work. So, but yes, you can use a normal iron in the meantime. But towards the end of the, the year, um, hopefully before Christmas, we'll have the heat press products in yeah. South Africa. It brings us back to that, you know, I don't have to be, have the amazing tool. But once you use it, it's like, oh, my word. Okay, it's life changing. And then you actually realize why you need it. Okay. So it's not, not about the money making. Um, it's about having the right tool for the right job. It changes your life. Okay. Um, just on that as well, it's like, it's worth waiting for it. Mm. You know, it, if, I'm, if I support local and I buy it from my local store, I've got the warranty, the guarantee, support, everything you need. And you know, the plug's going to work. So there's a popular question here that before we get to that, somebody is asking about what are the Facebook groups that you can join. So it's called Cricket Family South Africa, Cricket Family Middle East, or Cricket in Israel. If you're within any way of this region, those are the groups. You will need a pop. This is a very popular question. Um, can you, in one minute, try and tell us <laughs> what is the main differences between the machines? So your joy, obviously, obviously the size. Okay, Joy is going to be limited into everything you can cut, okay, um, but still amazing. You can cut your vinyl, your iron on, um, so you can do beautiful t-shirts and gifts. You can cut cardstock, paper, blah, blah, blah. Your Explore 2, um, and hopefully soon the Explore 3, is sort of your middle range machine, well, entry level big machine. Um, that's the guy that's going to cut over 100 different materials. You can cut bigger surfaces, which is obviously what people want to do. It's like, I want to cut something big for an art journal, or I want to make a vinyl sign or something like that. And then your maker, you're cutting over 300 different materials. Like, I haven't even touched on what I can cut. So it's explore, it's learn, it's try stuff and don't be intimidated by the maker if you can afford it obviously it's the top of the range it's you're never gonna like i'm gonna love this machine even if the new one comes out 
it, it's an amazing machine. Mm -hmm. So the maker really is. It, it's going to offer you potential for small business as well as just doing stuff around the house and crafting. I agree. I think for me, the joy is if you just want to, oh, to yeah. use iron or simple vinyl, I think the joy is easy for that. But Some of my coolest features about the maker is you can actually engrave with the maker oh, or yeah. you can emboss with yes. it or you can cut balsa wood and chipboard, oh, yeah. heavy chipboard with it as yeah. well. I think this quickly, I think just two more questions. You've got something you want to say about the joy? I, I want to say this about the joy. So this is pretty much my life and my desk. Joy fits right there. <laughs> plug, plug it in, phone, work. Okay. So if you like me and you like a bit of a mess on your craft table, it fits. Okay. So that's where the joy for me is like the maker, you're like, I need space, you know, but the joy, it just lives on the pile for now and then, then we work. Okay. There's so many more questions coming in. We'll try and answer them yeah. at the back end of this, but let's try and see if there's one more question. Um, I think this is a bit of more of a, a personal question to, to yourself, you wonder. When did you start your crafting journey? Sure. Um, when we were growing up, we had a craft room at home. My mom was very, like, I don't know, uh, good to us. She gave us a, a blank newspaper print roll, it's like a fat roll of paper, and it just rolled onto this long craft table. And we, just, my sister, my brother, and myself, we just played. We painted. We we did whatever. So it always, we've been creative. But officially, um, I was like, oh, I don't know what to do. Like, I wasn't good enough in school to actually go and study to be a doctor. <laughs> Fat chance. I hate blood. Um, then you was, like paint. Yeah, I like paint. <laughs> okay. Then I was looking for something to do, pop into a little shop that sold rubber stamps. I'm like, oh, okay. My sister and I went for a class. We started stamping, making cards. And then the owner's like, hmm, potential. So I started working there part-time. So officially, my crafting journey in the industry started around 2000. Um, actually, way before then, just on and off. But 2000, yeah. So I entered the industry, started working, started like learning. Doors opened, like amazing stuff, yeah. Um, got to know a lot of amazing international people, traveled the world. Um, yeah, have passport, will travel. So, yeah, we are. We need, <laughs> I think, another webinar series just to follow up on your wellness oh, journey. Yeah. I think there's so many awesome questions. I just wish we could spend more time with the actual members and the audience because they've been so engaging. And mm -hmm. unfortunately, we kind of have to get to the business end of this today. We do have a winner. Um, I think I'm going to leave you will know with the honors to announce who the winner of it's a joy, it's right? It's a joy. Who has won the joy so, this week? You will know. Carissa Abrams, you are the lucky winner. Well done and congratulations. You are going to love this little baby. Well done, Carissa. Yes. I think before that, I just want to do a couple of you know, just saying thank you again. You will yes. know, I cannot stop to say thank you for you. <laughs> The oh, amount you. of things and passion and energy and work that you are giving to cricket, it, it's, it's amazing. Uh, I am excited that you're on this journey with us. We're going to walk a long journey together. Absolutely. We're just getting started. Yes. We, and it's, it's just, I'm super excited. And thank you, Wilna. A pleasure. I do thank have to you. thank our partner, Hobby X, for setting up yes. this webinar series. We, I don't think we do this enough uh, where we celebrate, you know, not just women in cricket, yeah. but women in general. Yeah. You guys are truly inspiring and you do a lot. So I think we do need to do work more of that. So thank you, Hobby X, for, for doing that. Um, my favorite, Paul Kruger, the, the yes. owner of Fredful and our cameraman. Thank you very much. If you haven't been out to this amazing venue in Hartis, Hartepiers Boer Dam in South That's Africa, safe. come to Fredful, 50s vibe, have a milkshake in the diner. You're That's absolutely going to love it. So. And then lastly, but not least, uh, it's probably you know, my biggest thanks is to our members out there, yes. our ambassadors and admins in our Facebook groups, but our members, thank you for being who you are. Thank you for your support, patience and loyalty. We, we love you. We're just getting started and we want to get things better for you guys. So stay with us on this journey. Things are going to be really cool. Yes. Before we hand over back to Melissa, you will know, have you got anything that you want to leave the audience with today? Um, have fun. Yeah, bye Choose cricket. Joy. Choose joy. There we go. And then dress him up.
or her up. I mean, yeah, if you if you have a machine and it's still in the box, for me, I am really good at breaking seals and opening stuff. Use your machine. <laughs> you are going to love it. Thank you so much. Thank you, Wilma. Thanks for Thank joining. You everybody. Yeah. Back to Melissa. And that's a wrap. Thank you so much, you all know, for bringing so much inspiration to this penultimate webinar in the Women's Month series, and also for sharing all of your tricks of the trade. And thank you to everyone that joined us today, and a special congratulations to our competition winner, Carissa Abrams. She's the lucky winner of a, a cricket joy machine valued at 3,000 Rand. Now, don't forget to join us for the final webinar next week on the 31st of August at 11 a.m. and we're going to explore the cutting craft stencils on the Cricut Maker machine and learn how to use your custom stencils on painted projects with Nan Day. So you can find the link to register on the Hobby X website and on the Cricut social media or Hobby X pages. So the most exciting surprise for next week is that we will be giving away a Cricut Maker machine in the next webinar valued at eight thousand rand so get registered and get ready thank you to our wonderful host martin Crea, and on behalf of the hobby xi cricket teams we wish you a lovely weekend and look forward to seeing you next week bye-bye